Good morning. It's the morning of results day and I didn't get any sleep. I feel sick, like, in my stomach. Got my lucky fancy shirt on. Not fancy, it's awful, it's bloody gopping. I need A, B, C to get into Leeds to do maths. I need to get three Cs. Let's see how this goes. The UCAS has opened their website. All right, let me log in. I know I'm going to do good, but what if? There's always that tiny voice in the back of your head that's like, what if you failed? Here we go. It's loading. Ooh. Oh! B? <laughs> oh no. The equivalent of three A stars. Go to uni! Ha ha! Oh dear, buddy, got in. It's my dog. She is accelerating wildly. No, oh. My mum's a cleaner and my dad's a warehouse operative. So I want everyone to see that someone like myself can get this far. I'm excited to move from Torquay to London and be somewhere a lot bigger. I'm really nervous. I don't think I'm very good at making friends. Here are lots of my Dungeons and Dragons miniatures. I look forward to new societies. I join the University Officer Training Corps because I want to join the Army as an officer. That would be really useful. Finally, getting out of this small village. As a transgender person, there's the very real possibility that my flatmates might not accept me. I'm just worried about being away from family and stuff. I just have to be a big girl now. Sorry. <laughs> OK, so me and Mum are currently on our way to the range and then to say we should get a few bits for uni. I'm Evie. What even is that? <laughs> Is it wrong that I kind of want that for you? <laughs> I'm going to Goldsmiths in London to study history and journalism. And I'm looking forward to being somewhere where there's more going on than here. I'm saying goodbye to Mihira, who is one of my best friends at work, and it's really sad when you go out for lunch. We talk about student IDs or like the pictures you have on the little IDs, and in mine, I'm not allowed to smile. So I'm just gonna look like a murderer for four years. It's like, well, just try and like slightly smile. Do, do, smile with your eyes. <laughs> How do you smell? <laughs> <laughs> so now is the time I have to say goodbye to Luca. It's really sad. I don't think I've had a relationship lasted this long to the point where I get to say goodbye this way. Do no. I say that? I'm gonna start crying. No, you're not allowed. I'm just packing a suitcase full of food. My name's Dylan, and I'm off to Kiel to study biomedical sciences. I don't know how. I'm gonna fit. This giant, <laughs> giant bag of pasta. It's the first time I'm moving out of the house and actually be like living elsewhere without family. So it's, it's a real weird experience. My bed. Well, I can't get on my bed at the moment. I'm Chloe and I'm going to be studying dance performance at Winchester. I might want to actually continue packing. I am hoping to meet my kind of people and expand my friendship groups. I am excited to be joining Spectrum, the LGBT society, potentially joining Dance Squad, but I am nervous about meeting so many new people in a short space. All I can do is to show that you can talk to me if you want to. Preparations are underway. Packing is mostly complete. Hi, Bruce and I'm going to study computer science at Swansea University. Record all there, that'll be an essential. Oh, of course, the toaster maker. This thing is going to be an absolute godsend. I was at a military boarding school for two years, and I want to join the army after university. Here's my dog. She's probably my family member I'm going to miss the most, but don't tell my parents that. No, oh, it's not working. I've just started packing my clothes, and I've just realised how many clothes I actually have. I'm Beckett. I'm an 18-year-old transgender man the most important piece of equipment when you're going to university to study film production is a bass guitar. Starting university will open up a whole new realm of challenges for me in my transition. I'm now going to make some triple chocolate brownies that I'm going to be bringing with me tomorrow when I go to move in. Hopefully nobody can be awkward when there's triple chocolate brownies around. I went to my little brother's room 
because he's not here at the minute, he's with my mum and he has a little notebook that he does a lot of drawings in and I wrote in the notebook, I'll miss you, be good and I just, I just started crying. I'm Ali, I'm going to Keele University to study media, culture and creative practice but I'm not moving out and I'm going to be living at home. I'll be the first person in my family to gain a degree. The reason that I'm staying home instead of moving away to study at university is because my mother suffers with Huntington's disease so I don't really want to move anywhere, I don't really want to go far just in case anything happens. So my kitchen stuff and I'm Max. We need to get all of that stuff from the kitchen and from on that table into the car, hopefully. I'm going to study maths at Leeds. I'm at the last session of Dungeons and Dragons. So what are you all going to miss most about me when I'm at uni? Uh, playing D&D and you with your really impassioned roleplay. Oh, thank you very much. I do, do really get into the roleplay. Uh, your passion for S Club 7. Best band ever, S Club 7. Um, <laughs> Ollie, what, what are you going to miss most about me? Doing maths faster and better than you. <laughs> I'm better at maths, don't worry. Cheers! Finally saying goodbye to everyone, it really puts things into perspective. That distance, I don't know, it's just quite a scary thing. Am well, I going to get all of the stuff I need for university? Not having my friend Callum with me, that's going to be a strange thing at uni. He's quite good at making friends as well, so, you know, I used to kind of piggyback off of him with lots of my friends. So it's going to, that's going to be quite difficult as well, just trying to make friends on my own back. It's a few minutes past midnight, which means it is officially the 15th and officially the day I'll be moving in. It's safe to say I am terrified. I don't feel going to be able to fit all of my stuff in. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Goodbye, bedroom. Mum. <laughs> Good morning, sweetheart. Are you going to miss me? Uh, yeah, I'll miss you. Can I finish making my coffee now? Goodbye, kitchen. Dad, he's back up the car. Hi, Dad. Oh, check how neatly that car's packed. It's like Jenga in there. Oh, I'm so nervous. We ready? Woo! There we go, I'm in my car now. Here's everything next to me. You've got all of the seats folded down and everything. And we're just about to leave, so yeah, we're gonna drive away. My house. university now in a car everything's packed up just chucker no proper there we go <laughs> got a view of the fire station which is interesting so I've just arrived in my new room and we have the bed over here, a little bit of space there. We've got a nice little cupboard here. My brother and my parents have gone home and I'm pretty settled in my room now. I have a window, but the beautiful view is just of the car park. After countless hours of traveling, unpacking, uh, saying goodbye to my parents, I finally made it. Just in the corner over there, you can I do a little zoom. You can just about see the sea. So I'd say I've got a sea view, just about. I think I brought way too much. <laughs> like there's just bin bags full of clothes. Well, how? There's us. I have my pride flag. I can't actually fit it all in frame. It's so big. I love it so much. And my drawers broke. Don't have to get maintenance to come round. It's amazing. I love London. Oh, I'm not kidding. I'm literally right by the Thames. And I can't believe I'm actually living in London. It's a beautiful place. You look very settled here. Oh, I've got to come in. Settled. Yeah, yeah. that's a nice room. Ah, uh, yeah, I mean, it's very nice. I've got my already got my Marvel bed sheet on and everything like that. So, yeah, what are you guys feeling about me? 
bit scared, but I oh. think you'll make a go of it. <laughs> make a go, OK. Yeah, you're a social character. Fingers crossed. But, yeah. Um, so, yeah, I just want to say thank you very much for the last 18 years of my life. So, that's, <laughs> you know, it set me up well, I think. Oh, so I'm sure you. you'll have a lovely time. Thank you very much. Yeah, enjoy yourself. Bye, Mum. Bye-bye. Yeah, of course. See ya. Thanks to say to you. Okay. Goodbye. Yeah, find me later. Yeah, we'll do. There we go. Hey. But yeah, that's going to be last time we see them in a couple of months. I'm not going to lie, when I first moved in, I was extremely sad. Um, I don't know how to describe it. I just think I just was homesick straight away because my dad drove me up and when he left, I felt quite alone. I have a, a bookcase that my dad assembled when I got here, so... I don't know why I stopped talking there. Now I'm on my own and... Ah. Do, do, do. Yeah, freshers. <laughs> Some vegetable pie. My stuff is up here. Spice rack. My sauces are saucy. So me and Ellie have just gone shopping in Sainsbury's. We're having roast dinner tonight. We're both going to do it. And we want like little Yorkshire puddings to have too. So I was just starting my first meal at uni. I'm probably just going to go simple chicken and smiley faces in my first meal. Nothing too complex. Brand new tray. And the smileys. But I'll put them on second, so just for the chicken to start with for 20 minutes, and then eight minutes in, I'll put the thing, the others in. Well, I timed that terribly. The, the smiley phases aren't done yet, but the chicken is. So I'm gonna eat the chicken and then put the smileys in, and while I eat the chicken, hopefully, they'll be ready. Haven't took the lid off the ketchup yet. Not used to having to do that. Chicken, isn't it, you know? Now let's see if the smiley faces are done. I would say fingers crossed, but... Fine, probably not as good as mum and dad make it, but you know, I don't really know what I've done wrong either. I am making instant macaroni and cheese because I'm lazy, but I'm pretty sure my milk has gone off. I'm having to steal like 100 milliliters of somebody else's milk. Shh, shh. Alrighty, so I've uh, just had my first meal at uni. A beautifully prepared toasty made in my toasty maker. Oat cakes are the best. They're like a Staffordshire thing. We get the cheese. Bread that shit out. Baked beans. Just bang them on. <laughs> More cheese. You get the final oat cake. Pop that bit in the microwave. Heating up like a sexy thing. I've got my pot pasta. Oh, too hot. Looking edible. Oh. You don't need to have this much cheese. You ready? Literally, life changing. I know you get it out by opening it like that and it pulls it up. I'm calling my bag to see if we can help it. Bottom ends over the top of the floor. That's really cool. Wait, no, let the arms go up. Okay, here. We're trying. Sorry, Dad. Whatever it is. I feel like adults know how to do it, but we're not adults yet. This one is showing us how to do it. I think that's enough, and then you pull those down and lift it out. Yes, yes, yes. Look at that. There you go. Guys, we did it. Woo! One reason I was really excited about going to university was kind of to embrace a new me and to, you know, to try and be a bit more like my true self than I was back home um, because I am bisexual. Um, but I've, all like the LGBT plus community is all about pride. 
and I kind of never felt proud about my sexuality. I just wanted to kind of go somewhere new and, and also having to come out to everybody is quite hard because they, they've known you've been straight for ages. So having to come out and it's like you've been lying to them, whereas if you're starting a completely new start, um, it, you haven't lied to anyone and it can all be right from the get-go. You can be yourself. <laughs> Best part of Lincoln. <laughs> Everything's unpacked now, so it's just getting to know people and getting to know Lincoln. And, and partying. And partying, yes. Cal knows. Cal knows what he's doing. I'm gonna have a few pre-drinks. Uh, cheeky little shot. <laughs> Met a few new people now, and they all seemed really nice. I met a really cool guy who um, also he does um, Dungeons and Dragons too. We're all going out tonight. We're like, I'm probably going to go to a free drinks with my flat first and then go to Spoons to uh, meet all the maths people, which is exciting. We're planning to have drinks tonight. Hello, me and Benjamin are going to a Freshers rave, aren't we? Fuck me, it's Freshers. <laughs> Go and get some alcohol. We've got some on the beach cocktail. Everybody say hi. Hi. <laughs> drink before you go out. That's what I'm saying, ladies. Because <laughs> drinks are expensive. <laughs> Keep hydrated. So just going from drinking Jenga, free drinks. My turn. <laughs> <laughs> Winchester is very, very hilly. It is the Plomo party night. The theme is like beach swimwear. I'm wearing this swimming costume. See you on the other side. Hopefully we're not too bad. <laughs> okay, so we're headed out to bloody Swansea Town Centre. Absolutely outrageous. We're off the scene, which is the only game off. Yeah, it is, yeah. The only gay bar in Lincoln, so hopefully we don't have to pay to get in. No one washes the hands in stoke. We're all disgusting. And we took a selfie with a guy whose head was a giant disco ball. The party must go on and it will. I've just had too many drinks already, and yes, yeah, too much. I've been sick already. You know what's annoying though? We paid ten pounds, and it definitely was not worth ten pounds. Ah, it lied to me. There was no ball pit. Oh. There was supposed to be free pizza, free face paint, free sweets, foam cannons, confetti cannons, ball pits, and there was none of that. None. I paid ten pounds. morning <laughs> oh, so everyone's just so tired last night was quite rough so i have got my handy barocca to save my life i'm a bit groggy this morning it was just non-stop all night and we're just yeah, i'm tired university tip number one when you just had a really hard night out and you get back to your flat and you feel like you need to throw up, do not use the shower, use the toilet. My voice is just, I don't know, it's just broken. <laughs> so it's 8 a.m. and the fire alarm is going off and it's my first night in halls. So and it's raining loads. Um, literally everyone is outside and the fire alarm's going off, it's raining and it's horrible. What a good way to wake up on your first morning of being hungover. And now I think the curtains, because I ain't going back to sleep. Ooh. I'm not naked, I swear. I'm just tired. I'm really ill, because I'm flu business. Freshers flu is quite a famous thing for Freshers week, but I'm getting more of like some sort of Freshers zombie virus, because I've got my leg and kind of limping. I'm looking all pale and kind of... Must have sprained it dancing or something. I got in there, I got in the groove, then ABBA came on, and that was me done, you know, I was there. But yeah, 
really good night. Hopefully there's some more ABBA. And yeah, I was missing some S-Club 7, but what can you do? My voice is still completely messed up from having a cold and going to a club last night. And today I have to go and enrol. I was gonna be living in this room for a few days now and it's, <laughs> it's not incredibly tidy. If you're going to the army as an officer, you go to a place called Sandhurst, the Royal Military Academy. If you had your room like this at Sandhurst, you would get destroyed. The corners, you want to do what's called a hospital corner. Just make a, a pocket kind of in the corner. If you forget to tuck in your bed one day, and what's not saying you're not going to forget more important things when you're doing your actual active role. Just gone to um, make myself some breakfast, some frosted flakes, with some milk, and I got went to pour the milk, and it turns out, I'll show you. Oh. It's working a bit better though, but look. The milk is frozen. It's like ice, it's the coldest bowl of cereal I've ever had. I'm holding the bloody glove in the wrong hand. See, this is, ow. This is like a representation of eating wheat. It's like everything sort of done right, but completely the wrong way. Honestly, I've just been finding life just a lot to deal with. I have an official diagnosis of depression. I had a complete and utter meltdown. I was crying in my room by myself for ages. And I think it doesn't help, but I don't feel like I found my people yet. Cause I was hoping for the fact that I would meet more of the LGBT group. I just got back from enrollment. I'm currently in the kitchen and I'm feeling frustrated. My birth name is on the uh, student ID card. As a transgender person, I don't want to be constantly reminded of the fact that sort of my legal name and the name that's, that's in my head and the name that everyone around me uses aren't the same. I asked if I could get it changed and I explained that I'm transgender and it's my birth name that's on the ID. And they said that the only way I could change it is if I uh, fill out a deed poll. It feels like I'm fucked either way. I either change my name legally and have it changed on my ID and then I cause issues elsewhere or I keep my birth name on my ID and be constantly made to feel like shit every time I look at it. I'm so fucking stressed. I had a budget plan of my loan and what it was gonna go on and that has just not worked at all. I've literally spent like half of what I was supposed to spend this month within two days of having my loan. <laughs> well, I think the hardest thing for me I found is not having close people in the sense of like, you take it down to the basis, you've only known these people for like six days and you just want a hug. Like, that's what I want. I just want a hug. I'm not gonna go in tomorrow and be like, oh yeah, I'm upset, I'm homesick. Cause I'm like, yeah, everyone's got that, just get over it, but yeah. I don't know how you, I don't know how people do this. The fridge is still frozen. But I'm stuck with water and some hula hoops and a banana for breakfast again. And it is raining, so I'm currently walking down to the freshest there, down this very, very steep hill, which is a little bugger to be walking down every day. I might go to a Freshers' Fair as well and check out um, some societies. I really like the idea of archery. Don't know why, just <laughs> I like archery. I'm walking past people now and they've all got goodie bags, which I'm a little bit excited for. So me and Betsy have just been to the Freshers' Fair. Place. I mean, I signed up for a Taekwondo society. I am now on the hunt for the sports teams. I want to. I'm joining. I want to join cheerleading. Rugby the main sport and then 
uh, UOTC, which is the army unit. It's just stuff you wouldn't even think of, like the tea enthusiast army, and I was like, you do you. Windsurfing, boxing. The idea of cheerleading is really exciting to me, but there were these like absolutely gorgeous girls with like the hair and the nice bow and they were like come to cheerleading and I was like have you seen me I'm actually huge we have a ton of free I'm going to say free shit the fact that it literally says I'm here pressures get free shit I agree on that just signed up for St John Society and the volunteering society because that's all the stuff I do back home lots of stuff going on behind me lots of free candy floss I'm just gonna get some free pizza in a minute I mean I think the best thing we got Pint glasses. Definitely. I mean, like, it's like, doesn't a, need it's like an actual pint glass. I'm so easily impressed with stuff like this. It's a big, giant year planner. And then I got a free energy drink and I tried a bit of my boyfriend Ben's. It actually tasted like shit. Mission completed. It is the first day of like actual learning. <laughs> to be honest, I'm actually shitting myself because I'm scared that I'm gonna sit down, <laughs> they're gonna start saying shit that I know literally nothing about. Mm, I'm so scared. I don't really know what to expect. I'm gonna bring stationery and a notebook and my laptop. Luckily, because I live just there, across the road from the university, it doesn't take very long. First, for actual lecture. A little book at the library. So I'm a real student now. And then got to get the bus go over to rugby. I'm actually going to be learning some new maths today, which is very exciting because that's what I came here to do. I've reached it. I made it through Freshers Week, and I've got out the other side to get into the lectures. So cannot wait, and I'll see how it goes. I got the best email of my life just now. I've made it on to dance squad. I had an audition like literally hours ago. I'm scaring myself and stressing about it so much during the audition because so many people were like really, really good. Ah, I made it on to dance squad. We're at the London Eye. Woohoo! Look at this, look at that thing. I'm actually really getting into this London life. It's the first day I've actually properly explored central London with other people. We're currently at the Imperial War Museum. I'm just looking at planes yeah. and shit. It would make sense as history students, I guess. I had my first lectures today. It was a bit formal, kind of like be quiet and shut the fuck up and make notes. That was okay. Yeah, I'm glad I find it actually interesting. I thought that I'd get there and it'd be really boring and just be like, I don't really want to do this. Um, it's fine, I like it. I just had the best experience. What I've learned, I suppose, being at uni, is that who I was was good enough. I think I have found my pride, but I have found my pride in other things, like being a mathematician, being a first aider, and being a nerd. And these are the things that make me me. These are the things that make me proud to be me. I've loved every, like, day and every minute. Anybody that asks me, oh, should I go to uni? I'm like, it's been one of the best decisions I've made. You move away from your family, the people you've been like dependent on your whole life. Then you go into an environment where you don't know anybody, but the people that I've met, they're just so like down to earth and kind and genuine. I can't wait for the rest of it to be fair. Just having a glass of milk before I go to bed, some biscuits and doing a bit of maths. So this is kind of my perfect evening in. This has been good. I've been Ali. I'll see you later. <laughs>